All right, so there's another one that is absolutely free that you can use, and it's called the OBS, which is a free open source, source software for live streaming. Many people use it online, and uh, it's free. Okay, so you would need to go to things OBS. I just Google, as they say, GTS. <laughs> All right, so they have it for Windows, Mac, and Linux. So I'm using it on Mac today so I'm just gonna go ahead and download the software there I'm just gonna oh okay I'm just gonna say create I'm gonna download the software once I download OBS um, you know obviously it, it, it takes just a second to use and um, OBS is also used on Reddit and that's another social media thing that I teach you in the Reseller Academy. Which. Alright. So now that we have that there, I'm going to close this out. I'm going to go to Applications. And because I don't use OBS, I'm probably going to delete it. I don't know, unless it then came up. Bye. Wait, are you going to pay me still? Mm hmm. I have it on your account. Just a few. Give me uh -huh. just a few. Okay. Open system preferences. Okay. Okay. So it's like, hey. Okay. Video settings. Use current. Okay. Da, 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 da. Servant switch. I mean, I'm gonna say custom. Okay, so now when I'm setting up, it's kind of asking me what is my server name. So I'm gonna go there, and then I'm going to put the stream key, which is live. Okay. Okay, it said the bandwidth test is about to stream randomized video data without audio to ensure you're showing that. Okay, so it's telling me, hey, it's testing the stream. It's doing this, it's doing that. Okay. I don't know. Bye, babies. Okay, so it's... It's streaming, it's doing what it's doing, but obviously we're gonna set the encoder for the settings that we want um, and everything, and that's what it's doing right now on the channel. So hopefully if somebody's watching, you're like, oh my God, what are they doing? <laughs> but trust me, I'm sure you would want me to mess with your channel versus other stuff. Okay, yeah, and I'm looking at it on Roku and, and it's All right, it's a server bit rate 3000 x2 you know it's giving you the the recommended settings okay we're just gonna apply the settings because it's kind of actually actually right but of course we're gonna go and modify that so we go to streaming um, as you see because I didn't have the authentication enabled it you didn't need to put a username and password but just been up you know, because people act crazy on your stream or somebody is trying to be ugly and stuff like that then. Cool. So, the uh, X264, the audio bit rate, we want it at 128. Okay. So, you can also enable uh, advanced streaming settings accordingly. Um, I just don't know how to. Recording. Okay. So, if you wanted to record. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Um, all right, so the 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 bit rate is cool because it's at twenty five hundred. I like to do what I say. I had y'all at thirty five, which is cool. Constant bit rate, keyframe. We wanted at two, okay. And CPU profile, da 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 woo woo. Okay, recording. Okay, we have it saved there. Okay, on the bit rate one at 128 and then we're just gonna say okay okay so just like that um, um, a 
accordingly. You can also you can always put in your I'm just gonna put in the image. So create new image. I'm gonna browse because back in the day, man, we used to we used to have delays and all types of stuff on that. Okay, I'm just gonna open this as an image there. I'm gonna say okay. Okay, and then if I press start streaming, okay, as you see, it's connected. I'm, I'm looking at everything over here on my side. Okay, so it's letting me know that it's live. It is streaming. Um, accordingly, it's letting me know the kilobits per second, all that good stuff like that. Uh, and it's switching over. So I was gonna say once it switched oh once it switched over here it's and it has switched over on the Roku station as well we see that it is streaming accordingly so when you use OBS whether you're using OBS whether you're using uh, Wirecast wherever that you're using um, to stream obviously you can you can stream accordingly and it'll go to the TV and whatever it's coming through your streaming thing it's uh, yes you yes that's what's going to be going through your channel okay so this is just an update for the 2021 live streaming etc um of course this was, this is going to be the new updated stuff but just in case um as there's to serve as a refresher for you guys if you have any questions please feel free to reach out to support at xehostmasters.com and our support team will make sure that if you do have any questions we can guide you through accordingly we don't own obs we don't own wirecast we don't own none of that stuff okay but we do own the stream and we do make sure that the stream is working properly so you can do what what's needed to be done okay and look like obs none really came up so i'm gonna play with this a while as well so i hope that helps you and happy streaming